develop Norton's equivalent circuit. We have to develop Norton's equivalent circuit for this circuit. Solution For Norton's equivalent circuit, we have to find Rn that is Norton's resistance and In that is Norton's current. Now first we will find Rn. So to find Rn, we have to short circuit the voltage source and open circuit the current source and this will be our Rn. So here this is a voltage source so we have to short circuit this. Now here we can see this 10 ohm and 10 ohm are connected in parallel and it is connected in series with this 15 ohm. So therefore Rn is equal to 15 this 15 then plus 10 ohm parallel with 10 ohm. So this will be 15 plus this will be 10 into 10 divided by 10 plus 10. So therefore Rn is equal to 15, 15 plus 10 into 10 divided by 10 plus 10. So it is 20. 20 ohm is the value for Rn. Next we have to find In. Now to find In, to find In, we have to short circuit terminal A and B. So this will be our ISH short circuit current and it is equal to In. Now to find In we can use current division rule. So let's say this is total current I. Now by using by using current division rule In is equal to In is equal to total current I multiplied by opposite branch resistance opposite or parallel branch to this 15 ohm is this 10 ohm so 10 ohm divided by 10 plus this 15 so to find In we have to find this total current I So to find total current I it is equal to V by R. V here is 100 and R is here we can see R is 10 plus now this 10 ohm is in parallel with this 15 ohm. So this will be 10 into 15 divided by 10 plus 15. So this will be 100 divided by 10 plus 10 into 15 divided by 10 plus 15. So it is 6.25. 6.25 ampere is the value of total current I. So from this IN is equal to total current I that is 6.25 multiplied by 10 divided by 10 plus 15 6.25 multiplied by 10 divided by 10 plus 15 so it is 2.5 ampere 2.5 ampere is the value of IN
now we have the value of i n and r n so from this we can draw norton's equivalent circuit so norton's equivalent circuit will be i n parallel with r n this will be r n the value for i n is 2.5 ampere and the value for r n is 20 ohm this is terminal a and this is terminal b so what we have to develop we have to develop norton's equivalent circuit for this circuit so this is the Norton equivalent circuit.